actually originates here in Ireland, the more you know. The more you know. Hello everyone, welcome to your Back to My Channel. You're watching The Sydney Mewson Show with your host, Sydney Mewson. Welcome to another vlog here in Ireland. I am currently just outside of Dublin, and if you've seen my other vlogs here in Ireland, we were in Dublin for the last two weeks. Quick recap is we were staying in Dublin City, and now we moved to Liffey Valley, just outside of Dublin. There's not too much to do here, but there is a huge mall that I'm staring at right now. It's nice because my hotel's only a 10 minute walk from here and this is actually the main kind of bus station area. So you can take it into town, it's only like 30 minutes and you got the double decker buses, so that is super nice. This mall is honestly huge, this is just one of the wings. I'm gonna head to the far left side and then work my way to the right. Next is Zara, looks like they're having a huge sale, so let's check it out. This is so cool and different, but it doesn't fit. For a Tuesday at noon, this is pretty popping, I would say. a lot of shopping in there. I will show you when I walk back, but it's so nice. I'm just sitting in the sun. There's the movie theater behind me, and there's a couple restaurants like over here that Brent and I tried a couple days ago. But yeah, that was the mall here in Liffey Valley. It's huge, which is really nice, but definitely did not need to shop as much. <laughs> but I found some really good deals, so I'm excited. Time for a haul. First and foremost, I got this long sleeve shirt from Stradivarius. Very cute. High button up or high zip up one. It's navy blue, kind of hard to tell. And then this blue t-shirt from Bershka. This one is super pretty and it has like a little slit and a cool back. Last but not least, I feel like I actually didn't do that bad. Like I thought I bought more stuff, but I ended up getting these cargo pants. I've been wanting some cargo pants for a while and these ones just have the little pockets on the side. I tried them on, they fit me really well. Perfect length, so I'm excited. Hello again, I am getting ready to go have dinner. Actually, I think it's just drinks with Brent's coworkers and Brent, obviously. Well, I actually have to grab a free now taxi right now and then go meet them at the bar that's like 10 minute drive away. So, let's go. I found Brent. But we have not found his coworkers yet. They're all late. But we have our two we have our two pints. It is pouring rain outside, but that's okay. Oh wait, I think that's just actually a fountain. Maybe it's not raining anymore. But it was. Very nice. Cute little area. Yeah. Uh, Lexlip. Lexlip, yeah. The taxi driver was like, oh, are you going to Intel? I was like, why is that what's all that's there? Typically. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, yeah, it's on Main Street. And I was like, okay. Uh, yeah. Not the Smokies. The little Smokies. Yeah. Wait, no, they're a little... Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> huh? That's for kids. <laughs> Hey, it is a new morning. I just woke up and I, I really slept in. It's around 11. I got ready though, so we're halfway there. I had so much fun meeting Brent's coworkers last night. There were 
four of them that I met? Wait, four or five, I think, ended up showing up. Honestly, just getting to know who Brent has been spending so much time with here was really fun, and I just feel like they were so funny, too. Like, we were just laughing all night. With that being said, one of our conversations led to them saying that we have to visit the Giants Causeway here in Ireland. Now we've heard it probably six times from, like, many different people we've met here, so I booked an excursion for us. It's gonna be another like 13 hour day, but we're gonna go to the Giant's Causeway. We're hitting a castle. And then we're also doing a little bit in Belfast. So that will be really cool to see Northern Ireland. If you didn't already know, Ireland is broken up into two different parts. So the North part is actually British owned. And then the other half of Ireland is EU owned. So they're part of the European Union. I feel like this will be a really cool new thing to see because we've done a lot of the West now and the coastline but now we're gonna see the north and it will be a really cool just adventure you know <laughs> and it's one of our last days here in ireland so i feel like that's a really fun thing for brent and i to do together and to end off the trip <coughs> yes i know what you're thinking you're like what happened well a lot of things happened i <laughs> it was my time of the month you know your girl was down okay i was not a functioning member of society i have had like the worst migraines the last two days i was so tired like i had cramps i had fatigue obviously i had like beating like heartbeat in my forehead there were just a lot of things so we did get krispy kreme though so I will be having that for breakfast. There's like this strawberry cream one that I wanted to try. I don't know if it's filled, but we're gonna find out. That was really good. Anyways, tomorrow we're going on our excursion to Giant's Causeway. And I am excited, despite the fact that I still feel a little bit today. Mmm. There is, in fact, jelly and cream inside. You guys, the sun came out. Yay! Finally. We're heading to dinner. Kinda. We're gonna go to an all-you-can-eat buffet. I'm excited. <laughs> Nothing gets me more excited than food, than a whole buffet of food. There's a double rainbow. There is the most beautiful rainbow I've ever seen. It is so clear. I love this. This is where we're going for dinner, the Cosmo. This is our first plate. <laughs> Second platter. Here's my dessert, it was an ice cream cone. Um, as you can see, I've already eaten such ice cream cone, and here's my weird dessert. But this is custard, some Belgian waffle, a little sweet in the corner, and some popcorn. Good morning, everyone. We are on our way to the Giant's Causeway on our tour. We just stopped and got some Red Bull <laughs> because I was so tired. I woke up and I was like, hello. We are about two hours into the trip so far. We got another hour to the first stop, which I think is the Dunless, Dunlans or Dunless Castle. Dunless. And then I think we're heading straight to the Giant's Causeway. Welcome to another tour day, up early and ending late. Cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> This is our first stop, we're here at the Dunluz Castle and it is so pretty along this coastline. You can just see that most of it has not stayed up but there are people walking actually inside it and you can kind of walk around so that's really cool.
about 40,000 basalt hexagonal formations here. And you know, over the years, I feel like the water levels have changed. So you can tell that like the, the ones that are getting wet like every day, <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense, but you can kind of tell like the level of the water rising. And it's very peaceful here. I enjoy that about this whole area. has decided to grace us with its presence. <laughs> we are really looking out. <laughs> we did not think it was gonna be like this today. Definitely said full rain, but look at this mountain. My hair in a couple photos was like nubbin in the back because it literally looked like the top of the mountain. <laughs> but yeah, so pretty when it's sunny. Like, wow, yeah. it just brings it out, like there all the green. Yeah. This whole thing. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Brent's wearing his new sweater that he got from Galway. <laughs> the tourist trap store. Hey, it's a nice sweater. It's a nice, nice jumper. Sweater. It's a nice sweater. We can't say sweater, it's a jumper. It's a jumper? Yeah. This is a jumper? I think so. carrying all my bags. <laughs> Got it. That's so cool in the back. Brent was just listening in on if they had to say anything yeah. to the rocks, you know. Just basalt things. <laughs> we're heading back now, but that was so cool. It's definitely cool because we were just saying you can walk on it, like you can see it, you can feel it, like it's a whole different experience than the Cliffs of Moher. Like you see it, obviously, and it's breathtaking, but here it's... <laughs> yeah, more interactive. More interactive, yes, that's a good word. Anyways, we're heading back to the bus now. Next up, I think we're gonna go to the... Why can't I not remember this last thing that we're going to? Is it the hedge thing? Yeah, what's it called? Know. Dark hedges or something? There's a story that a man, I don't know what the man's name was. <laughs> Anyways, there was a man who wanted to, I think it was to like impress his wife. And so he planted 150 birch trees, which we are walking along right now. And it leads to a gorgeous estate at the end and you can like have carriage rides over there or whatever. But unfortunately, his wife actually passed away from childbirth. So she didn't even get to see the birch trees. <laughs> but the man was saying that he still sees his wife's ghost or spirit through these at night. <laughs> so it's kind of a ghost story. Must be scary at night. <laughs> Imagine being here on Halloween. Did you know that Halloween actually originates here in Ireland? The more you know. The more you know. We made it. BS. Hey, I'll bring you around Belfast and give you a con comprehensive tour of the city with local insights and anecdotes. The four prows are the actual size of the Titanic. Wow. The building is. We made it to Belfast. I think we're gonna go walk around a little bit. It's so nice out. And go get a drink and some lunch, dinner, dinner. <laughs> We 
we're gonna get some sushi. Yay. Oh gosh. <laughs> We just went to this whiskey place, picked out some whiskeys for friends. Brent is so excited. It's perfect for him. We got one of these friends at hand, which you can only get here in Ireland. Having ourselves a Guinness before getting back on the bus. To deal with the couple that sits behind us. packing up for you want to tell them the news how much longer are we here for one more week one more week folks you're hearing it first from the source Thank you so much. <laughs> we have so much stuff but this is our hotel we're staying at for the next week right by the train nice here we are, a little room tour. First up is the bathroom. Got a nice little rain shower action. And a very good sized bathroom, as you can see. And then you come into here and it's pretty big actually. Nice big king bed. I love this giant mirror that they have in here. And a little seating spot. And we had kind of a view of some body of water. Very nice with the greenery. And to end it off, we've got TV, little mini bar thing, or mini coffee, and then a little desk. This is what we're currently dealing with. It is just pouring out there. Last two points. You got to save yourself. Oh my gosh, he did it! Hey. Let's chat, shall we? So I think I left you guys yesterday. We'd moved into our new hotel that I'm currently sat in. And <laughs> we are in Ireland for one more week. Yes. Am I happy or sad? I don't know. I'm homesick for sure. I will have been gone for six weeks now and that's a long time. So, oh, pardon. There is the tram going by, I think. Now I know this vlog is getting so long, so I'm gonna just really quickly wrap it up by saying that our tour at the Giants Causeway was so much fun. And you guys, I definitely, definitely recommend this tour. I think it is totally worth it. And if you guys saw my other vlog at the Cliffs of Mower, honestly, both are amazing. And if you have the time, do both for sure. But if you don't have the time, I'm going to say you need to choose Giants Causeway because it's just something like you've never seen before. Everyone was telling us like it's just something you will never ever see. Other than that, it has been a crazy 48 hours here in Ireland. We have been scrambling to get a new hotel, change our flights, 
all that stuff. I am definitely going to experience all I can this week. I'm gonna take full advantage of it and I am so grateful to be here and I will just never have this opportunity again. So this week I am going full force. I hope to see you guys in the next video very soon. But until then, bye Felice. <laughs> Coming up next. Yeah.